All right, there's a lot of stuff going on here, but the truth is if you just start plugging in numbers, it ends up being not too bad. So let's say we're supposed to have these. So we have our, um, let's just make our table. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have our first term, we have our second term, and we have our third term. Okay, so our fourth term, t of four, is equal to four minus three is one. Four minus one is three. And four minus two is two. So again, I said I'm plugging in four, so that's four. Four minus three is one. Four minus one is three. Four minus two is two. So t of one is one. T of three is one. And t of two is one. So this gives me one half. So you may have looked at this and went, oh my gosh, I know the pattern. It's one, 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 one. Um, no, we just had to define three things because moving forward, we're always going to use three terms. So let's look at this if I want t of five. t of five is equal to five minus three is two. Five minus one is four. Five minus three is, I'm sorry, five minus two is three. So again, plugging in five, I have to plug it in again. Five minus three is two, five minus one is four, and five minus two is three. So t of two is one, t of four is one half, and t of three is one. So this is one over, this is two over two, three halves, which is a little bit messy. One divided by three halves is the same thing, and one times two thirds is multiplying by the reciprocal which gives me two-thirds as your answer. Go ahead and try the next one to see. You should get six over seven. So try it right now. Push pause. All right, hopefully you come back it now. If you haven't pushed pause, try it and then come back. But we're gonna try t of six. t of six is gonna be six minus three, six minus one, and six minus two. T of three is one, T of five is two thirds, and T of four is one half. So it's ucky and messy. I do need a common denominator. So that would be what times three? That would be what times two? So that is eight plus three is 11. Did I do that right? I'm looking at the answer key and I'm not seeing the right answer, so hold on just a second. Let me just check this again. So if this was six, six minus three is three, six minus three is five, four, and t of three was one, and t of five is two thirds, and t of four is one half. In common denominator, six so times two, which gives me eight over six. Oh, I already did multiply by two. <laughs> Four plus three is seven. There we go. So I had already fixed that, and I already fixed that. There we go. So now one divided by seven six is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal, which gives me six sevenths, which we have there. Whew. All right, cool.